Okay, well, we are in our VW right now, and as you can see from the dashboard here, we have the ABS warning light showing here. Um, so it is something that we're going to have to diagnose. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, hook it up to a diagnostic tool to find out uh, if the problem is in fact an ABS sensor. We suspect the problem is an ABS sensor, but there is of course the uh, the possibility that there is a fault within the ABS module or the ABS pump um, as well. So we'll uh, first of all we'll hook it up to the diagnostic tool and then we'll see if we can get this uh, fault diagnosed. Alright so the tool we're going to use to try and diagnose the ABS system is the iCarsoft i908 system scan tool. It will diagnose uh, ABS systems on VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda. Uh, so we need to be selecting the brake electronics here as we are doing. So we'll select that and it should connect to the ABS system which would then give us a fault code and also a brief description of where the fault is. Um, so that just gives us some information on the actual ABS system that we have here. Uh, what I want to do though is click on read fault code and then there we are we have a fault showing uh, 00290 looks like a manu manufacturer specific fault speed sensor rear left um, so it is in fact a, a problematic sensor that we have in the uh, the rear hub so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change that over and then see if we can come back here and clear the fault codes and remove the ABS warning light. Okay, so we're on the rear left hand side of the vehicle now. Um, this is the connector for the ABS sensor. And as you can see there, you might be able to see. Uh, there it is there. Shiny new ABS sensor. So we've just put that in. What we need to do now is connect it up, uh, clear the fault code and then the ABS light should be removed from the dashboard. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now after having just changed over the ABS sensor. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the engine just to see if the airbag light will go off automatically or will still stay on and require the codes to be deleted. I'm just gonna start the engine. And as you can see there straight away the ABS light was in this little section here but it's gone off uh, now what we do still need to do however is remove the trouble codes that were causing the fault in the first place so we're just going to go in here uh, we should see if the code well, the code seems to have deleted itself automatically there um, so it's good news that the iCarsoft has been able to diagnose the ABS code and allowed us to realize which ABS sensor which needed to be uh, changed over to remove the dashboard light. 